Hi guys, how are you today? Uh, this is Shelly from Repurpose My Way and I am here to talk about something. I can't remember. Oh, oh yeah, the elephant in the room, right? Let's talk about the elephant in the room. Uh, this is a plant stand. It's really a cute little elephant plant stand. Um, it's like a ceramic and um, it's really cute. But my mom acquired this through a friend and she likes it, but she doesn't like the colors in it. So she gave me some paint. Um, this is a tint based primer. I don't even know. I think it's just something from Walmart. Maybe. I don't even know where it's from, but it's too hard to read. It's all painted over. I have no idea what it is, but it's a primer. There's a little bit left and we thought we'd use it up and uh, get this painted. And I told her that I would do that for her. So we're going to use a little bit of different kind of paints and we're going to mix some paints to come up with a different color because the color that she wants I don't quite have enough and instead of going out and buying a whole new whatever pint or whatever that she wants to do this because it's not a very big piece um, we're just going to try and mix some paint and come up with a color that's close to it so uh, I'm going to get started I have it up on a stand here or on these scrap pieces of wood and I think what I'm going to do is just start on the bottom the legs and this is nice thick thick primer so I'm hoping this uh, sticks this is very shiny surface so I think it'll stick okay Okay, here's Mr. Elephant. Just had the dryer on him and was drying, <clears throat> drying him off. And he's looking pretty good. Pretty good coverage with that primer. It was nice and thick and very sticky and it stuck to that really well. And it's still a little bit uh, tacky. So I'm just gonna let it sit for a little while and finish drying because I want it to be nice and dry and then uh, I can mix up some paint. All right guys, so I started painting on this side already. It's a pretty gray color. Um, I think it's gonna dry a little darker, which is good. So I took, I took this light, light, light gray. You can see that. And I mixed it in, because I only had a little bit of this dark gray and she wanted it closer to the darker gray I think I did pretty good I mean not you see that that splooge is from my my paint stick but the darker gray that's there I think it matches pretty good um, what I had to do was put quite a bit because it was only maybe an inch and a half or so uh, of the dark gray in there. So I mixed in this lighter gray and then I had some Waverly chalk paint and ink. So I figured I would put some of that in um, and mix it in really good. And it came out with this nice, nice dark color. I think it's beautiful. I love it. And I mixed enough in there, there's about a half a can. So I mixed enough in there so I'll be able to do two or three coats and maybe have some left over. Um, I want to make sure I get enough coats on here, especially on the top and then seal it because she'll probably be putting a plant on top and I want it to not scratch off. So um, I thought I would show you, basically all you're looking at is the all you're looking at is the white of the primer. So we've got to get a little bit of this on so you can see. 
but I think it's a really pretty color and it's dark and it's gonna be a little bit darker when it dries, of course. So, I think that's really pretty. So I'll just show you. I keep putting my paint stick in the in the lid, but um, the darker gray was what I had left and I tried to match it. And I think I did pretty good. Um, I may have even gotten it a little darker than what she had in that paint can, but that's okay. out really cute and I got his underbelly I did that first so that I could do it while it was dry and well but I still made a mess of myself because if you're not getting messy when you're crafting painting whatever are you really doing it right <laughs> that's my story and I'm sticking to it <laughs> so anyway um, we're gonna let this guy dry and we'll come back and I'll see if I have something to seal them with, I may have to go buy something because um, I want something really sturdy and I don't know as I have um, what I normally use. So we'll see how it stands up and get a coat, uh, maybe another coat. It's hard to say right now until it dries. But anyway, we'll be back. Here's Mr. Elephant all done, ready to go to his new home. He has two coats of Minwax Interior Exterior Sealer, and he's looking pretty good. So thanks for watching. Please like, subscribe, and leave a comment below. And take care. We'll see you on the next one.